Are you ready to make PowerPoint move? Let's transform this boring bullet list into a captivating dynamic sequence using the morph transition. So buckle up and let's dive in. All right, here's our dull starting point. Let's make a new slide. I will copy the title to the new slide. Let's align it to the center and make it bigger. I don't like default PowerPoint fonts, so I will change Calibri to the Tetillium web font. It's a free Google font that you can download from fonts.google.com. Now draw a big rectangle. It will be the base for our content. Let's make it light gray. With four points on our bullet list, we'll need four identical rectangles to cover the base. Now let me share a handy trick to get this done. First, make a small rectangle then duplicate it. For that, hold Shift and Control and drag it. Place the duplicate right next to the original. Make two more duplicates. Now select them all and group them. Stretch the group so it covers the base. Ungroup it and you are done. Feel free to use this trick and create as many sections as you'd like. But if you love shortcuts, you can download free templates for three, four, and five sections from my blog. Check the link in the description. For better contrast with white text, let's recolor our sections to darker color. I will use red and blue colors from my palette. Enjoying the show? Go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe to be part of our growing movement. Now let's copy the content. To improve readability, I'll separate the text of each point into a headline and a body text. Let's change the headline color to white and make it bold. Next, copy the body text and paste it into the new text box. Let's align it with the headline, make it smaller, and paint it white. Next, throw in an icon for that extra visual punch. You can import your custom icons, but I'm a fan of the built-in PowerPoint icons. They're top-notch quality and a breeze to work with. The search feature is truly amazing and saves tons of time. Let's make it bigger and align to the content. Now align the content and the section background. Duplicate the content into the second section. For that, hold Shift and Control and drag it. Align the content with the section. Repeat the process for the rest of the sections. While I'm doing it, I'd like to invite you to my online course, where you can master more for the price of a few cups of coffee. Check out the link in the description and join the movement today. Next, simply copy and paste to edit the content. To maintain the text format, select the Keep Text Only option from the Paste menu. I'm speeding up the video to not waste your valuable time. All right, we've got all the text sorted out. To tweak the icon, simply right-click on it and use the Change Graphic menu. Search for the new icon and double-click on it. Edit the rest of the icons. Next, make four duplicates of this slide.
Select the first duplicate and remove all sections except the first one. On the next slide, keep only the second section. Move on to the next slide and remove all sections except the third one. On the final slide, keep only the fourth section. Now select the slide with all the content and duplicate it once more. Remove all the content except the headlines. Select all headlines and rotate them counterclockwise. Let's make them bigger. Copy the second, third, and fourth headlines and paste them into the first slide of the sequence. Accordingly, let's fill all the empty sections on all slides with the headlines. And for the final touch, let's flip the blue shapes on the second and fourth slides. The sequence is ready to go. Now let's activate the morph transition and set the duration to one and a quarter seconds. Let's take a look at the outcome. Fantastic! If you want to make engaging presentations with a guaranteed wow effect, Morph is your thing. Join my online course today to learn all the secrets of Morph.